Okay, I think it's all good. Hey, my good old slap scribies. We're here with another food review. I know it's been a while since the last one, but I had to do another, you know? Like it or not, it had to happen eventually because I have to eat, otherwise I'll starve, as was uh, pointed out to me by a very wise person. But hey, looking at some Dave's Hot Chicken. I could go by Dave, as my name is David, but I don't think any, no one really calls me Dave consistently. Maybe it's like a joke, or like, hey Dave, I got this Coke here, 99 cents, and if you just uh, buy it from like a supermarket instead of getting a soft drink for 350 at a um, restaurant type place. You can't really sit in right now. I don't know if I'd call it a restaurant because it's only takeout. Well, what is it then? It's a restaurant still, isn't it? You just take it away? Take it out? Anyways. Um, I'm gonna try to resist sipping on that Coke because I've gone with the Reaper chicken tonight. What's this? Oh, this is my mac and cheese. No, it's not. This is, this is one of the things. Is this the Reaper one? I don't know, because one of them is extra hot. So here's the packaging. I'll let you take a look at it. Because this is like a review after all. I'm gonna review it. Yeah, I'm assuming this is the Reaper one. I'm gonna try not to step on it and see if I can handle it. Oh, there's the mac and cheese. I got some fries. This is my third time going to Dave's Hot Chicken. Um, I never, I've never, i never reviewed something for the first time. Maybe that'll happen. I haven't been to Popeye's ever. I've tried to go twice, and I've been foiled at both attempts. Um, their fault, by the way, not mine. <laughs> They weren't taking credit cards, they were only taking cash, which seems messed up. Seems like they should be doing the opposite, but I, I guess their systems were down. That's, that's the explanation, their systems were down. So Dave's Hot Chicken is a relatively new uh, franchise establishment. I don't think there are more than five or six uh, locations open right now. Could be wrong, but I think they're all in Southern California. Uh... Yeah, hot chicken's their thing. The Nashville style. Nashville style. Have I already reviewed Nashville hot chicken? I think I have. Well, we're doing it again. And then I'm gonna review Popeyes. This is gonna be all chicken review. And I like my chicken, so... That's good. Fine by me. Alright, so you can get these sandwiches. Oh, where's the sauce? I need some of the sauce. Did I not order any of the sauce? Do you have to order the sauce? Oh, I'm a fool if that's the case. Let me, can we open this rectangular package here? Cause I added cheese onto one of them. I don't think it's this one. I added cheese onto the hot one. Does this one have cheese? Yo, bro, they didn't give me any fucking sauce. That didn't happen the last time. I didn't get any kind of anything. Damn. I'm sad. I guess I forgot to add it. Oh well, here we go. This is the Reaper one, so it's gonna be really hot. But I'm sad I didn't get the sauce. The sauce is really good. That's like half a reason to go. I had what I thought was the Reaper the last time I went. It wasn't very hot. So Reaper pepper is like the hottest pepper on earth or something. Or one of them. Carolina Reaper. Um, It wasn't that hot when I had it. This time, it tastes a little hot. But, like, not what I expect from a Reaper. What else is in here? Nothing. They put kale slaw on all their sliders, and it's pretty good. I like kale slaw. Oh, they also got pickles, their sauce. They're better with cheese on that other one. I'm being mad. Um, chicken and pickles, as you know from my first review, is a combination made in heaven. They never give napkins, either. You probably have to grab them yourself or ask for them, which I haven't done. But I think you should give, give napkins by default anywhere. It is a little hot. It's really crunchy. The chicken's good. They brine it for I don't know how long. I don't know how long you have to brine chicken. I've brined chicken once before myself. It's really nice and crunchy. It's been ready for at least 40 minutes, so... 
It's held up well. Yeah, not that hot though, for Reaper, honestly. Hmm. Taste is really good. Um, it's a good size. I'd recommend going for sure if um, you know this one nearby you. If you're in LA or the area. Or uh, San Diego. And come on here. As if this is the Reaper. It's not really that hot. So my eyes are watering ever so slightly. My nose is feeling a bit runny. My tongue. Not really in that much pain. They make you sign three... Well, they make you click to agree three different to the three different waivers before you can have the Reaper. That seems a little excessive because like any Thai place you go to is gonna have something hotter than this. Uh, Hal and Ray's, have you been there? They got way hotter. I don't doubt that they use Reaper in it though. It's probably just very dilute. It's still good. You don't want the heat to overpower the flavor. But I like hot food. I think it like opens up my nose, and your nose is a good part of um your sensation of taste. Let me blow my nose right now because it's uh, starting to build up. I'm very prone to uh, having a runny nose from hot food. Be it spicy or having a high temperature, it'll get my nose running. But I like that. It clears out my nose, and I think I can taste better because of it. So I am very uh, partial to spicy foods. Pickles are good. Pickles are really good. Nice and firm, crisp pickles. Exactly the way I'd like them. And I, I'm willing to bet if you like pickles, that's the way you like them too. You don't like soggy pickles. I mean, they're kind of soggy by necessity, but... I can still be firm. They're wet. Ooh. So the more I eat, the more it kind of builds up. But if you're expecting me to like lose my shit over this spicy sandwich, I'm sorry, it's not gonna happen. I would like to lose my shit over something spicy though, if we can get something like that. If how, when Hal and Bray's can, you can't go there right now. You have to get it like postmated, which is stupid. I guess it's not stupid, but it kind of just make makes me not want to go. But yeah, when that opens up again, to like non-delivery people, it's probably kind of relatively soon, I guess. Um, I'll go and get their Howland Plus and lose my shit over it because it's really hot. I've had the Howland before. I don't know if I, if I had the Plus or not. Should I be talking about a different establishment in my review? Yeah. <laughs> Compare and contrast, right? That's the best way to, like, measure things against other things. I suppose that it's kind of, they're both kind of obscure, so. I'll compare it to the KFC Nashville. Yeah, it's a lot better. It doesn't have this weird, like, oily film over it. Um, the taste is better. The crunch is better. The grease is less. The kale slaw, better. So there we go. That's the Reaper Sandwich Slider from Dave's Hot Chicken. Very good. Give it a 4 out of 5. I'm not going up to 10 today. Oh, I am feeling a bit of a spicy in my ears. I'm going to take a drink now because... I 
Good old Mexican Coke. <clears throat> because like, I don't know, I feel like if I'm not suffering to begin with, it's not really like looking for an out. I mean, that's not going to make it better. I'm still hurting in my ears, but... Move on to the next one. It's possible that this is the reefer one. Though I thought I added cheese to the super hot one. And there's no cheese on this one from what I can tell. Oh no, yeah, there is. Okay, so this is just the regular hot one. They also have fries. Without sauce, though. No. What's the goddamn point? Oh wow, it's gotten really... Con condensation has happened, has occurred in this box. And the fries are wet because of it. Hmm. So they were really hot at one point. Putting off a lot of steam, but... It's worked against them in the end. Because now they're kind of soggy. Yeah, well, I'm really excited to get the sauce. The sauce is excellent. The Dave's Odd Chicken Sauce is absolutely excellent. I'll cut that. I'll cut it! And you guys aren't even going to know what the hell I cut. <laughs> It's a good thing to have napkins. I would be in a lot of agony and grief right now, like with my boogers running into my mouth. Sorry to put that image in your head, but I had it in my mouth, so I think you can, I think you can live with it. If you're coming here to not be grossed out, you made a mistake. What else do we have? They give me a fork and, and stuff for the other thing. I think I'm gonna finish the rest of this in the uh, comfort of my apartment. The fries are really just like a vehicle for the sauce, which is really good, and which they didn't give me any of. I'd give the sauce like a four and a half out of five. Is that good? I mean, for like a sauce for putting on a chicken sandwich, is that good? I don't think it has like the versatility and stuff for like other purposes. I don't know what makes a sauce get a perfect score. I'm just going on like the taste of this combination for its purpose alone. I'm not looking at anything else, but how does it do in its purpose? I think it'd be kind of stupid to not give a sauce like a perfect score because you can't put it on other shit besides what it was intended for. I think if it does its job, what it's made for, that's what that's what earns it the thing. Unfortunately, I don't even have any of the sauce to review. I'm upset about it and I'm angry and I drove an hour there and back for this meal, so. Mm, you could say it's my fault, but uh, this is the third time I've been there and the first two times I didn't get sauce, so you'd, you'd think I'd know how to get it. I should have checked the bag. Like, you just assume these things, right? You assume they give you sauce. You assume they give you napkins, and they don't. So, reviewing kind of like the eating experience from Dave's Hot Chicken, uh, I'm giving the whole thing a 3 out of 5. Why out of 5? Because, um, I don't like... I kind of like... If you rate something out of 10, hear me out here. If you rate something out of 10, every point you take off... Like, you can't go past 5. If you go below 5, it's fucking terrible. It's like, oh, you give it a 5, it must fucking suck shit. But if you give something a 3 out of 5, that's good. And it's like... If you were to do it on the on the 10 scale, that's a 6, which still seems shit. And I like the uh, 3 out of 5 scale, because 3 out of 5 seems good. And it is good. Uh, it's very. What did I rate the other stuff? I don't remember. It's been a while. But yeah, 3 out of 5. 3 out of 5 is a good score. What would make it better? If they gave you napkins... And they gave you sauce and ketchup, just because, like, why the hell wouldn't you want sauce and ketchup? I'd give it a four. It's like the whole taste and everything is there. But, you know, just from my experience, the past three times, no napkins, no sauce this time. You shouldn't have to add sauce at checkout. They should, they should ask you, obviously. Like, who the hell doesn't want that sauce? Anyways, uh, thanks for tuning into this review. Don't expect another one anytime soon.